Hey everybody, JR Specie here with another video. And today what we're doing is, uh, I was in Denver for my birthday this past week. And I went to a car shop out there. It's a really cool one called Bill's Collectibles, I think. I'll put the information in the in the description below. Anyway, I went there. So we're going to do um, a haul reveal of what I got there. And we're, what I also went to was, I like going to thrift stores and Goodwill stores and stuff like that. And I went to this one thrift store, and I'll put the information below. I can't remember what it's called. I think it was A-C-O or A-R-C or I don't know. Anyways, I'll put the information in the description below. Oh, right there, A-R-C. And anyways, in the toy section, they had this brick. They had bricks of cards, and a lot, most of them were new stuff, 80s and 90s. And then I saw this one with a 64 Tops Jimmy Pearsall on the front and a, a 66 Tops card on the back, Bob Miller. So when I saw $1.99 and I looked in here and I said, wow, those all look like vintage cards. Like right here you see, this looks like 63s. And uh, I didn't really look too hard, but I just noticed the card stock. And I know that that should be all pre-80 card stock. So we're going to open this and see if I got my money's worth. I got a camera helper here today. So she's going to help me. And we'll go through these pretty quick. So I have less than seven minutes of battery life. And obviously, I haven't opened these. I was saving them so I could do this reveal video here. And hopefully, they're all vintage. And you know, I, I just, if someone's going to be giving these things away to a Goodwill store, who knows what might be in here? Uh, I'm hoping, well, right there's a, an old uh, 62 post right there in the middle. So I'm just going to put these like this. And I think they're all old, guys. So ignore my fingernails. I was. I lost my nail clippers, so they're longer than usual. Jimmy Pearsall. Jim Fergosi. All right, two recognizable names from the past. Uh, oh, these might be all angels. i got four angels right off the top. 63 Angels team card. And there's no creases on it. It's pretty decent shape, just a little corner wear. Bill Rigney. Yeah, these might be all angels. Dean Chance, he was a great, great pitcher. Leo Burke. Bo Belinsky. Albie Pearson. Ryan Duran. There's a 76 car. Oh, that's an Oriole, so maybe not all, all angels. Unless he was maybe at one time an angel. Let's take a look. Nope. Okay. A couple more angels. 66 tops. 62. That's a Dodger. Ed Roebuck. Alright, a couple more angels. And these are pretty nice, guys. I mean, just typical wear, but the, the surfaces are nice. Okay. Let's see. Who was a good angel we could pull back in the 60s era? Um, geez, I don't think anybody, so. Well, I can't think of a good angel back in the 60s. If you can think of one, Frank Malzoni, he's an old Red Sox. Uh, if you can think of one, put it in the description below. Oh, well, we got some hand cut cards there, a whole bunch. Probably posts, maybe jellos. Jim Fergosi again, he's probably. One of the better players uh, on the team. Another Albie Pearson. Okay, so this one is uh, a post because you can see where the red line comes almost to the end. Uh, Jello card, they're slightly smaller, so they're it's actually shorter. That one come out of a. Uh, this one is a Jello. Okay, so you can I think it's a Jello. Yeah, you see how much smaller it is right here. So they're smaller because the boxes of Jello were smaller, and you see how the line stops shortly after, after right here, the are just outside, and this one here goes quite a bit farther. So that's going to be a Jello card, and the font here is going to be smaller too, as you see right here. The post is much bigger. So that's a 62 post or 63 post and a 63 Jello, and that's where you, that's where you tell the difference. The fonts. And then that stat line is, is the big thing, and then the size of the card. But anyways, okay, enough with the history lesson on cards. Let's keep going here. Bill Moran, George Thomas. I have an uncle named George Thomas. Ryan Dern, he was a good ball player. These ones are a little rougher, those last few. Steve Bilko, Bill Rigney. Here's some more posts. These are easily identifiable because they say post, but uh, that's because they didn't make jello then. Ed Yost, another good one. Rob Pearson, Ken Hunt, Bill Rigney, Ed Yost. There's another 68 for Grossi, 66 team card. Uh, let's see. Vic Power, Aubrey Gatewood, 
Aldi Pearson again. Lou Burdett, another good one. Aldi Pearson, I mean in his playing days. Another Fergosi. Oh, if I was a huge Fergosi fan, you know. I think he just passed away not too long ago, too. Another George Thomas. Dean Chance, Jack Spring, Don Lee, Fred Newman. Newman. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. Sandy Koufax, 62 post. Now, granted, it's been taped in an album or something, so it's it's got a lot of issues going on there. But, uh, you know, that's that's pretty cool. That's, a, that's the best card so far. Don Fairley. Man, why couldn't this have been a big Dodgers pack? And I would have got as many Koufaxes as I do Dean Chance in here. Bob Miller. All right, well, that's it for that group. Koufax is definitely going to be the best one. Uh, so that wasn't a total fail I mean we got you know a big pile of 60s cards mostly for uh, two dollars so uh, I'm gonna stop this video now and I'm gonna do a second video for the other reveal because I don't have enough time to add more <laughs> so anyways uh, we're gonna pause this one right here and I will post the other one in, a, in another video so check out that right after this one thanks guys bye